So let's look back over the Major League Hill Slide World Series 1 from June 2003. The first event was the downhill front with Daniel Alder and James Lewis competing in the first heat. Daniel Alder winning by an absolute mile, hitting the post on the way through. The second heat was Tom Roberts on his own wearing the blindfold and he didn't half make a meal of it. Taking him three times as long as anyone else to complete the course, he was pushed by James to the top and finally made it to the bottom. The third heat was Ben Roberts against Daniel Wall. Ben suffering from a lack of lube and Daniel's controversial finish was something to be argued with. The playoff was between Ben and James Lewis. Both struggled for, for lube, but on the way down when the track was re -lubed, Ben slipped and went under the track. The first semi-final was an all-Daniel affair. A very competitive and very aggressive battle with lots of injuries from either side. The second was an all-Roberts affair. Ben Roberts finding the perfect line to win to get into the final. The third place playoff was between Daniel Rawl and Tommy Roberts. Daniel Rawl winning by a mile, just getting inside the post. And the final, Ben pushed Daniel Older outside the post and came through to win by an absolute age. Daniel crossing the line just after. The second event was the downhill drag. Tom against James in the first heat. Tom getting through with ease. Ben Roberts against Daniel Older was the second heat. Daniel Older using the bodyboard went straight into James, which caused some serious injury. The final heat was Daniel Rawl on his own wearing the blindfold, no problem whatsoever. The playoff, Ben Roberts, James Lewis again. Ben came down as James destroyed the track behind him. The first semi-final was an all Roberts affair again. Tom pushing Ben off the track this time to come through winner. And Daniel Older doing the same only at the top of the track to Daniel Rule. So the third place playoff was between Ben and Dan Rule. Ben climbing over Dan Rule halfway down. It went through the post and caused serious injury to his back. And in the final, Tom Roberts and Daniel Older. The race was won at the start when Daniel Older pushed Tom away to come down and win the event, putting him into the lead in the championship. The uphill challenge was next. James Lewis, an awful attempt there. Tom really wasn't much better, taking the lead momentarily, which was taken instantly by Daniel Older with this attempt. Daniel Rawl then went flying past everyone, and it looked like he couldn't be beaten until Ben Roberts, with his last attempt, the last to go, smashed everyone else's result to come first and retake the lead in the championship. The second uphill challenge, only one attempt each this time instead of three. James Lewis, rubbish again. Tom Roberts did a little better but not much. Daniel Older slipping and sliding all over the place, just knocked out Tom again. Daniel Rule broke the record easily coming right up the track and Ben Roberts, it looked as though he might have beaten it but he was given about a centimetre short so he came second but still led the championship. The third uphill challenge was wearing the blindfold. Tom just ran straight up the track and got nowhere. Ben ran like a chicken and got a fair way up the slope. Daniel Rule did exactly the same as Tom, running off the side of the track. And Daniel Older got an easy second place. It was all down to James, who just managed to get ahead of Tom and Dan Rule. Third, his first points, and look how happy he was with that. Fantastic result for him. The next event was the Human Bowling 1. Daniel Older, very controversial with his method, leaving the rubber ring and pushing it through the stumps when he wasn't even on it. Just check this out. Look at that. Absolute cheating to the ultimate limit. Tom, on the other hand, just couldn't even get near the, the stumps. He just missed them both times to get absolutely bugger all. Daniel Rule did the same on his first attempt, but found a perfect line on the second to get two. James Lewis, on the other hand, fell off winded himself quite badly and just gave up on that attempt. Then we went to Human Bowling 2, this time from a rubber ring to a surfboard. Tom Roberts again getting absolutely bugger all from two attempts, which means he got absolutely nothing overall. Ben suffered from a lack of lube on his first attempt, but his second attempt was enough to knock down three pins found in a very good line. James Lewis went next, took down three on his first attempt, which was brilliant for him, and then two on his second to take the lead in the event with only Daniel Rule to go, who suffered a lack of lube on his first attempt, and on his second attempt managed to knock down four, but it wasn't enough. James Lewis was victorious for the first time ever. The next event was the vertical racing. The first heat, Tom won, making it to the top of the slope in about 17 seconds, just slipping and sliding at the top but just about made it to the top. The second heat was Ben Roberts against Daniel Older and James Lewis, but he did it in 7 seconds to Tom 17. No problems there, and Daniel Rule tried to repeat Ben Roberts' feat. Two seconds shy though, only 9 seconds for him. 
so the track was re-looped for the final and it was a very aggressive affair lots of fighting lots of battling Daniel Wall though eventually came out on top as the two Roberts brothers fought throughout which means we went into the final event which was the melee madness madness even and this was quite an aggressive affair as well lots of pushing and shoving throwing jumping over people like that there Daniel Rule was disqualified for this which meant that Tom's last minute push on Daniel Older just here meant that Tom won the event making sure that everyone won at least one event but Ben Roberts was champ on 29 points 9 ahead of Daniel Older Dan Rule Tom Roberts, James Lewis.